Thank you for tuning in to Abundant Moments. Several years ago, I knew of a church and they had a pastor and they just loved him. He was fun, he was always telling jokes and just liked to do a lot of things with the people and they just loved who he was. He wasn't much of a preacher. He basically did like the three points at a poem type sermon, didn't really get into the word, no real meat, but everybody just really, really liked him. They got a new pastor, it was a denomination, and so they got a new pastor in, and they didn't really like this new pastor. He wasn't as friendly, wasn't as outgoing, but he really preached the word. He was teaching the congregation things. And did you know that the congregation, for the most part, wanted rid of him? They wanted the guy that was fun. They wanted the guy that they liked his personality more, because he was more friendly. He was more, had more, like they say about doctors, a bedside manner, and just really nice. The sad thing is, they didn't realize God's plan because they were looking at the man. And so many times we start looking at people and we base our decision about somebody or an agenda based upon the person, the man, instead of the plan. And we need to look past the man and look to the plan to see what is the plan. When you look at Moses, you can see that Moses was called by God to lead his people out of bondage, out of captivity. But yet Moses, he couldn't talk, right? Moses had spent the last 40 years before God used him to do this in the backside of a desert. Nobody really knew who he was anymore. And the reason he'd done that is because he'd killed a man. So if you looked at Moses, you would think, well, he's not fit to lead the children of Israel. But it wasn't about the man. It was about the plan. Because God knew he could trust Moses. God knew Moses was listening to him. Although he didn't speak right, he stuttered. Although he had a checkered past, it wasn't about the man. It was about the plan. How often do we do this? We might have a pastor, somebody that's trying to get into office or somebody that we're uh, in a corporation. They think, oh, this person should actually be the one that leads this company because you know they're just so personable. Well, what is their plan? How about a city? The person over that city, the person over a nation. What is that plan? It's not about the man, but it's about the plan. So let's look past the individual and let's see what are they doing. Let's look and see what is God trying to do through this person or does this person even listen to God? But let's stop looking at the man and let's start looking to the plan. I'm so thankful that the children of Israel, they said, you know what, let's go ahead and let's follow this man. Although he doesn't meet our expectations of who would lead us, I'm glad they followed because they found out he had the plan, the plan from God. Thank you for tuning in.